get back out there in life and live your best life. Grandma's porch, a place to relax, a place for calm, a place to enjoy. Grandma's porch. Get back out there in life again. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. You know, I got to thinking about different friends that I have. And I have some friends that are very, very stuck in their life. And then I have some friends that are go-getters. They get out there in life and they are making life happen. And I love to hang around the ones that are making life happen. Now, I understand that everybody makes their lives happen differently. What one person's interested in may not be the same as another person is in, is interested in. So I look at their level of contentment and happiness. Are they happy with what they're doing? If someone's happy like grandma was, she loved to stay at home. She loved her home. She was active in her home and she lived her life fully. So she was happy. And so I look at that happy level. Are you happy with the way you are living your life? And then some people are out there busy, 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 but they're miserable. They're unhappy. They're not doing the things that they love. They're just busy to be busy. They're not being productive. They're not doing what they love. So in turn, they're not all that happy. So I kind of look at their contentment level, their happiness level. Are they enjoying what it is that they are doing? And um, getting back out there can be almost anything. It could be staying home painting a painting, but you're doing what you love. Some people have are living life like they're living in the boneyard, as grandma would say. They're living life in the boneyard. They're just giving up hope and they're giving up everything and they have no motivation and no inspiration and no nothing. And other people are out there. They don't always have the answers to their life. They don't always know exactly what they even want to do or what they want to accomplish or how to get there or how to do it or even if they can. And yet they're out there doing something to make their life happen in a positive way. I think sometimes we got to get back out there in life. We got to step back out there in life. And remember there's many ways to live life. Sometimes we think that, you know, there's only one way to live life. But sometimes I'll get on YouTube videos and I see, wow, they're going, you know, mountain climbing or they're taking a Jeep over, you know, in the mud and, and in the snow and, and, and doing something different. I was watching one guy one night who lives in, in his Jeep. And it was fascinating and wonderful. And someone said how much they envied him over their own life who was tucked away in a nice big house in the suburbans. And so we all have a different idea of living our dream. And I don't compare my dream or my issues or my problems or my goals or my happiness or my anything to anyone else's. I just compare it to my own life. And yet I love getting back out there in life. I love generating new ideas, painting new paintings, getting out there and running every day. I love that about my life. I love the fact that I'm a go-getter, that I try to figure things out to the best of my ability. I'm always creating. I'm always using positive energy. Sometimes we've got to just step back out there at any age. Just because we're 60 or 70 or 80, you know, some people just give up. I'm not giving up. I want to be out there no matter what. 
I want to get out there and make the most of every day of my life all the way through, all the way through. And so get back out there in life and give life your very best. From my house to yours, may God bless you. And I hope to talk to you soon again. From Grandma's Porch, I hope you like, share, subscribe, shout out my channel, and tell all your friends about my channel. Talk to you then. Bye-bye. to relax and a place to enjoy. Grandma's porch.